Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about OWASP and specifically looking to the first vulnerability which is broken access control. So before that, let's see the definition of OWASP. So what is OWASP? So the O, uh, the Open Web Application Security Project, which is OWASP, is a non-profit foundation dedicated to improving software uh, security. It operates under an open community model which means that anyone can participate in and contribute to OWASP related online chats and projects. So usually whenever we do our analysis, I mean the risk analysis, initially we look into top 10 OWASP. So the top 10 vulnerabilities will be changing based on few factors which we'll be looking in the further slides. So let's check 2017 uh, top 10 as well as 2021 top 10. So top 10 vulnerabilities have been changed within three years. As we can observe in 2017, the top vulnerability was injection, whereas in 2021, the top vulnerability was broken access control. So on, the vulnerabilities have changed down the time based on a few factors. However, why the broken access control is in the first position and why the injection has been moved to the third position? Well, there are various factors which have been affecting these levels. One of such is the total number of CVs found. In this case, it's more than 90k CVs and 94% of applications have been tested positive for this vulnerability, which makes it in the first position. So let's see what is broken access control. So as you can see the definition here, so broken access control is a simply a scenario in which attackers can access, modify, delete and perform actions outside the applications or intended permissions. Let's say in more detail. Let's say we have a web app. Let's say it ha uh, the site is mrt.com and uh, here we have two scenarios. Let's say we have Ravi and there is other guy called Teja. So he's an admin and uh, he's an user. Okay. So he can, uh, Ravi can only access the other platforms. Let's say he has visited e commerce. Okay. I'm bad at writing. Let's save it. So he has uh, visited the e commerce and he can. Uh, he can visit the products and he can see uh, you know what the product says what the description is what uh, you know what the price and so on whereas Teja can manage those products he can change he can edit and uh, do other operations so he has separate admin panel and whereas user doesn't have any panel like he has his own uh, normal user panel with it which don't has elevated permissions so if we, if we see here uh, let's say it's mrt admin so only ravi has uh, sorry only Teja has access to this particular uh, url for example let's say ravi can also access this particular url then it says as broken access so that is the reason why we call it as broken access control so the control access has been broken so that is why the name has been arrived. Apart from this, so let's say we have uh, the user Ravi has ID equal to let's say 200 or 20 let's say. Whereas Teja ID is uh, let's say it's uh, 2. So whenever you are visiting a URL so let's say you go mrt.com and some xyz and here id equal to so whenever the user uh, ravi visits it's 20 okay you can see it in uh, uh, the url so for instance let's say you have removed you have already logged in and you can see it has 20 so it's it's like you know the sql query that we usually do select data for this particular id 20 so all the related information of this user 20 will be uh, seen in that uh, web portal. So let's say you have changed it to 2. It should be not accessed. So you should not be able to access the Tejas uh, control panel. But uh, if the access is broken, then you will be able to access. This is called as uh, IDOR. 
so if you want to know more about it you can check my pen testing up playlist so there is one of the video which you can visit them so this is how uh, this is one of the example that i'm telling about uh, of broken axis so let's check the other one the factors uh, which are affecting so some of the factors uh, that you can see here the cwes mapped so what is cwe so basically the cwe refers to the types of software weakness rather than a specific instance of vulnerability within the products or the systems essentially cw is a directory of software vulnerabilities whereas cv is the list of uh, known instances of vulnerability for a specific product or the systems so we can say that cv is a subset of cwg so whenever you search for cw uh, un under that we can find few cvs and one of the reason for which the vulnerability is in the first place is because uh, the cvs that has been identified is 19k which we have talked uh, in the previous slide so these are the few factors through which uh, it has been stated in the first position. So common access control vulnerabilities include violation of principle of least privilege. So as we have talked, uh, the right person should have the right access. Let's say the developer has given the manager access and the admin access. That that doesn't make any sense. You know, like uh, down the line, anyone can uh, have uh, admin privileges and they can modify it, which will make uh, the site vulnerable and you know like bypassing uh, access control checks by modifying the url which we have talked uh, in the previous slides where uh, by changing few urls we can directly access the other users uh, uh, account and we can do the modifications which uh, should not be done and uh, the third one as you can see permitting views and uh, editing someone else account which is also known as insecure uh, direct object reference which is uh, changing the uh, ids so these are some of the common access control vulnerabilities i have also uh, will provide the link in the description so that you can uh, uh, view more uh, vulnerabilities related to this so how we can prevent it so these are some of the uh, implementation methodologies which has been given by OWASP so one of it is like uh, deny, deny everything by default and uh, that is one of the way that you can do the other one is you can uh, implement the access control and reuse them across your platform so that is another method uh, and so on uh, given in, in the OWASP so this is the a reference through which I have made this PPT so I'll be keeping it in the description for you to visit so all the content uh, is related to that so coming to this video I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video which is OWASP and uh, the first one broken, broken access control if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video and do suggest me if you have any suggestions uh, uh, for these videos thank you